Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's off-page SEO video, I want to show you a unseen or overlooked tactic for your off-page SEO that could be holding you back from ranking number one on Google. So in this video, the tip, the tactic, the trick that I want to share with you is doing a competitive SERP analysis to determine the SERP average because of the competitive landscape in SEO we can no longer use best practice metrics when determining our anchor text diversity so what I want this video to accomplish is to help you understand that each SERP is going to be different and each keyword and its anchor texts need to be distributed differently for every SERP that you target so the best practice measurements that have been in place for years are no longer associated with today's SEO landscape when you're looking at anchor text and the types of anchor text I'm not gonna go through them there's really three main tools this top one is majestic next in line we have Ahrefs or a refs this is what their uh, report will look like here is majestics and then of course we have Moz down here and I put them at the bottom because I would rank them number three so this SEO tip this off-page SEO tip that you may or may not be overlooking is going to be coming up with a SERP average because every SERP is different and these tools are great for ac accomplishing this now you can compare URLs and anchor text ratios of the different types now if you're a little bit new then you know that really there's a few types of anchor texts that are used so let's just cover that and I'm gonna give you an equation that will certainly help you come come up with an answer when you're trying to figure out the SERP average because really that's exactly what you're going to need in order to rank number one in Google in 2020 so when you're trying to decide your SERP average for anchor text because anchor text is just as important as the backlink itself maybe a little bit more important and really what we're looking at is when you have your 10 competitors for any given keyword every keyword or a variation of a keyword will have a different SERP whatever the target pages that you're going to create the target keyword one keyword one page you need to gather the top 10 rankers or you could do top five I like to get 10 and we need to come up with an average so top 10 rankers we need to gather up and let's just say that their exact match is 10% I know that's high but just for sake of example we need to gather up their partial match these are anchor text this might be 5% okay we need to gather up their generic this may be two percent we need to gather up their branded and let's say that their branded is 20 percent now we have all 10 we have the overall average of all the websites the top 10 or top five and this is going to give us we are going to add it all up and divide that number giving us a SERP average our average percentage of the entire SERP remember each SERP is different when we are creating our pages now that we have our SERP average now we know that our pages need to hit a particular anchor text ratio because this is what Google is rewarding and this is how you will achieve position number one in 2020 if all other factors are in place this is one factor that we're discussing today so when we need to build out our pages and start acquiring our links to hit the SERP average but the final tip before I wrap up today's video is whatever the SERP average is if this is an exact match at 10% I know that's really high you'll probably never come across this you'll probably come across two or three or maybe four percent five percent depending on how competitive a keyword is but whatever the SERP averages for each of these particular 
measurements of the types of anchor text, you need to go just a little bit above to be competitive, to have just a little bit more. This is an overlooked metric that you really need to take a deep dive in and really take a good look at the SERP average for a particular keyword and its anchor text. So my name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions about off-page SEO, if you have questions about how to rank number one on Google, if you have business marketing, digital marketing, internet marketing, pretty much anything SEO, SEM, or SMM related, please leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next off-page SEO, how to rank number one on Google video. Have a wonderful day.